Welcome back to Roanoke County Today. My name is Brian Klingenpeel, and I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator for Roanoke County Fire and Rescue. And today I'm joined by Jill Lucas Drakeford, who is the Coordinator for Safe Kids Southwest Virginia. Welcome, Jill. Thank you. And it's past Memorial Day now, so all of the area pools are now open. So we are out here at Splash Valley, located at Green Ridge Rec Center, to talk a little bit about pool safety today. Right. So Jill, so when we come to a place like Splash Valley that's super safe, has lots of lifeguards, if I bring my little kids, I have nothing to worry about here. I can just sit in the chair and ignore them while they're in the water. Am I right? <laughs> well, you're not exactly right, Brian. Lifeguards are great. They're a barrier of protection. However, it is our job as parents and caregivers to make sure the very first thing that we do when we come to these pools is making sure that our kids are safe. And that's really about constant supervision. So we want to make sure that we are supervising our kids or our group of kids that we have with us. One of the things that we like um, from Safe Kids, we have these what we call water watcher cards that you can download from the Safe Kids website. And when you have this card um, and it tells you exactly what you need to do, when you have this card on or you're holding this card, you can do nothing but watch your children. No cell phones, no conversations, no reading a book. Yes, we all want to have our chance to relax, but we take about 15 minutes a piece if we have several parents or caregivers in your group of people. And anybody who has this on, that is their sole job is to watch your children. Okay, yeah, because I've heard some stories of uh, folks who, I mean, it happens so quick, yes. right? And it's not like on TV, it's not noisy. No, with kids, it's very quiet and it's very, very quick. So about less than one minute is what it takes. And most parents who have um, experienced a near drowning or unfortunately a fatal drowning, um, they say they had seen their kids within the last five minutes and somehow they just snuck away or they thought somebody else was watching. So constant supervision is really the key to making sure kids are safe. So how important is it for our children to know how to swim? Well, really important. So we encourage all parents and caregivers to make sure that their kids um, have swimming lessons and that they know how to swim. Unfortunately, about 50% of the drowning fatal victims um, do know how to swim. So they need more um, water survival type of um, skills, making sure that they know how to jump in feet first, they know how to tread water, they can swim at least 25 yards, get to a side of a pool and be able to push themselves out. So those water survival skills are really important. And the other thing is protective flotation devices proper ones okay so what does that mean so right yes yeah, I, I know so these types of things these are pretty much pool toys right so a proper flotation device is a life jacket what we would call a life uh -huh. jacket that fits properly that fits on a child properly um, you need to make sure that it's the right size the right weight they all have labels on them and when you have it on it needs to be snug so if your child does the touchdown sign it should not ride up into their face but those okay. are one of the best layers of protection that you can have um, and the other thing is always within an arm's reach okay. so when you have children in the pool um, you want to make sure that you're always within an arm's reach okay so if I'm a pool owner and I have my own private pool at my home don't need to come to Splash Valley, what are some things I need to do to make my pool safe? Right. Well, unfortunately, um, pools can cause a huge hazard in your home and in your neighborhood areas. So one of the first things we want every pool owner to know is that we need a four-sided um, fence that has a self-closing gate. It needs to be at least four feet tall. Um, it self-closes and it self-latches. Again, it's just a layer of protection. Now, we've kind of had some issues lately in the last couple of years, all of those inflatable pools that you can get at any local store um, that everybody wants to buy. They're fairly inexpensive. Um, so if you don't have a fence around those, we say take the outside ladder off when it's not in use. Take the floaties and the toys out because that won't attract kids to get in as much. Um, parents and caregivers also have this um, thought that if they have a pool cover on, that's a layer of protection. It's not. Pool covers are to keep the bugs and the leaves out. Um, unfortunately, kids can get underneath those pool covers. Um, so again, constant supervisions. We also say that if you have a pool in your home, um, you can get door alarms, window alarms, and those types of things for if the kids do go outside. But that locked fence is a huge issue that we need to address. Okay. And now let's say I'm not going to mess with the big pool, too expensive. Um, I've got small kids. I'm just going to do the kiddie pool out back. And kids should be completely safe. They can stand up in the water. It's no problem. Right. Well, unfortunately, again, kids can drown in less than one inch of water. So if you have the kiddie pools, and we all do when our kids are young, and those are great, um, we have to make sure, again, constant supervision. And then make sure as soon as you're done, you have to dump that pool out. Kids have been known to drown in kiddie pools, buckets, um, toilets, any type of landscaping, 
pond or anything like that as well. So we need to really make sure if we have younger kids in the home that we are monitoring those or draining them when we need to. Yes, and I think one of the biggest things as adults, especially speaking is from fire and rescue, one of the best things we can do is to know CPR, um, know some kind of life-saving technique right. so that it should, hope it never happens, but if it does with our kids or even older family members, so important to know CPR. So important to know CPR. So contact your local American Red Cross, American Heart Association. You can call Carillion. We have CPR classes. Um, sometimes you can even Google it and find something online. Do something rather than nothing and know, try to know the proper techniques to use and know that CPR and do that CPR until um, EMS and Fire and Rescue get there to, to help. Thanks, Jill, for joining us again today. And so if you have questions about these safety tips or any others, you can always find us on the web at RoanokeCountyVA.gov slash Fire and Rescue. Roanoke County Today, we'll be right back.